What's up, you guys? This is Dready Head. <clears throat> Today is about dreadlocks and the Nazarite vow. So we all know Samson had seven locks. It says that that Samson had seven locks. It does mention palm rolling, but a little bit deeper in that, people that don't really know the Nazarite vow, that want to get dreadlocks for that Nazarite vow, or people that are just curious. So these are just a couple of things. I'm not going to go into deep detail. I do plan on making a Nazarite vow video about me going over a lot of the Nazarite vow, which ones mean the most important to me. But as far as your hair goes, if you plan on getting dreadlocks, A, you cannot brush your hair. Once you do the Nazarite vow, you are no longer to use it, allowed to use a comb, a brush. You are allowed to scratch your head, but it's with the fingers. That's it. Because it does mention palm rolling, you know, in the Old Testament. So I don't think they used hooks or anything like that. They probably just did it all natural, twisted it, whatever they had to do, just all natural using their hands. With crochet hooking, you have the chance of tearing your hair. And that was the whole point of not brushing your hair if you were a Nazarite, because your hair needs to stay. Like, that's why God told Samson not to cut his hair. There's a symbolism behind that. Um, you are allowed to trim it if it gets in the way of stuff, uh, can't, not cut it fully, trim it. Um, I think once or twice a year, it says. I, like I said, I'm gonna post some more stuff about this. Um, this is just kind of like a spontaneous video because I didn't make one yesterday. I felt bad for not making one. Um, and also, if you were wondering, you are, if you do the Nazarite vow, you are allowed to cut, cut your hair once in your life. But to do that, you have to go to the Jerusalem temple, the temple in Jerusalem. So my plan is to grow this out until the day I retire. And whenever I get older and I can afford to go to Jerusalem, whenever I'm retired, I will probably go there to do that. So I have a very long journey ahead of me, you guys, and I cannot tell you how excited I am. I hope and pray my head and my hair stays healthy to where I can do it, but I do plan on doing that. Um, so I am excited about that. If you're allowed to cut it one time a year, no crochet hooking. So that's just a couple of things y'all need to <clears throat> look at if you are wanting to do the Nazarite vow and you wanna get dreadlocks. Um, now, if you cannot get dreadlocks, it does not say you have to have dreadlocks in the Nazarite vow. It's good if you can, and you can do that, because that's what Samson had. But if you physically cannot, you can still do the Nazarite vow. Um, so yeah, job bless you guys. Um, like I said, doing a Nazarite thing, it's mostly all natural. So I make my own s sprays, uh, the spray I made in my, one of my last videos. And I am getting some tightening spray that is all natural from a company. Uh, whenever I get that product and do a review, I will be posting where you can get it at. So, job bless y'all. I am releasing my third song uh, today, actually. So, y'all give that a listen. Like, comment, subscribe. Once again, God bless, y'all bless, Jesus bless, everybody be blessed. And I will hit y'all up later. Peace. One more thing, you guys, I completely forgot about. People ask me, do you think Jesus had dreadlocks? And my answer to that is 100% absolutely yes. He was from Nazareth, and they called them Nazarites. And Nazarite, Nazarenes did the Nazarite vows. That's how it says they looked at him and knew he was a Naz from Nazareth. They knew it. He was a Nazarite. They just knew that because Nazarites had dreadlocks. So yes, Jesus did have dreadlocks because he fulfilled the law. And if he was from Nazareth, he did the Nazarite law, which the Bible says he was from Nazareth. So I believe he was from Nazareth. He did the Nazarite vow, vow which is dreadlocks. So... Yes, Jesus had dreadlocks, and they were probably ridiculously long, because remember, he probably never cut his hair, because he fulfilled the law. He fulfilled every law. So that's a cool little fact, too, to leave you guys. And once again, like, comment, subscribe, job bless, and make sure y'all check out that new song I'm going to be posting.